December 24th. I'm gonna go ice fishing for the first time, try out some of this new gear. Camping in the van. Van life. It's all coming up. Something like that. Cot is set up. 72 degree heater, infrared going on. So my memory foam, that's not what I was expecting. Got that memory foam unkinked unwound with the heavy duty down sleeping bag little mini pillow I've also got a wool blanket to throw over top got this infrared heater a lot of times you can just sneak up to somebody's house and run a drop cord right to their outlet it works pretty good 7 30 in the morning and Two degrees. It is not 80 degrees in here. I'm not sure what the, the drill. That's why I'm wondering if the switch is bad. So my final analysis on the K-Drill did the job. However, I was a little disappointed in perhaps the drill that I had, a 4.0 battery amp hour. Might want to go up to a 5 amp hour or even the 9 amp hour. I have a little extra power. It was a cold day, so I think I might have been having a problem with the switch. Uh, it did okay though. We probably didn't punch more than 20 or 25 holes. So definitely impressed with the lightness and the maneuverability of the outfit and of course upgraded from the 5.6 uh, showdown markham from last year to this lx7 definitely would recommend this piece of electronic equipment it makes it enjoyable to be out there on the water and the use uh, very intuitive so definitely a little bit pricey as far as band camping yeah it was cold i did have uh I was with relatives and I chose to stay out in the van just because I wanted to uh, brave the elements a little bit, use the infrared heater. Uh, it, it was cold, not the most comfortable, but I did manage about six hours of sleep, so uh, not enough on my scale, but uh, definitely, definitely fun to do. Get out there, have an adventure, make life happy. You know, it's all up to you and how you view it, your attitude, and we'll see you next time.